So guys, this is going to be an in-depth tutorial on how to do Neo Strafing and how to perform it in game. First of all, you want to join the Discord link which will be found in the description of this video. And then you find yourself to the Neo Strafing channel which is near the top in the info section. And you just click the download link right here. You then want to keep this, open it, and then more info and run anyway. Now you need to go into Steam and then find your local game files like this, open them here, and then find your CFG, which is down here, and then you click on the blank bit here, and you just copy this, and you can paste it in on the command here, you click enter. Now this is all done for you, so all the files will be in the right place with the right stuff, and it will also update your auto exec file if you already have one. So all you have to do now is go into launch options here, and have plus auto exec if you haven't already got it make sure there's only one execution in your launch options because you can't have let's say plus super glide one dot cfg and plus exec uh, auto exec you can only have one at a time so make sure you get rid of the super glide one and just have auto exec here if you want to modify your binds so the normal activation bind for neo strafing is four but I know a lot of you have it for heal. What you want to do is go through all of these files. You have to make sure you do it in every single one. And you change 4 to whatever you want. And if it's control, shift or caps, it'll be one of these. That's control. That's what shift looks like. And then caps lock there. I know a lot of you have different binds for tap shifts. So if you scroll down to tap shift, you want to change this one here to down. And this one up here to MO up just like this. And then for the tap shafe bind, it normally comes with jumping and tap shafing. So it's a bunny hop tap shafe. If you don't want that, so it just goes forward, you can just remove this plus jump and it looks like this. So to do it in game, first of all, I'd recommend using Octane because with the stim, you can get a lot more momentum and it's a lot easier to time. And you go a lot faster as well. But what you want to do is get some momentum, click your activation button, whatever it might be, and then you just go up and down. If you haven't changed the activation button, it will be 4. So you press 4, and then you just go up and down when you land. Make sure you let go of all WASD inputs and you hold crouch while doing it. That way you lose no momentum whatsoever. Sometimes it might look like this when you're doing it and you're losing a lot of momentum that means you're scrolling way too fast so just slow it down and try and find that perfect rhythm just a note is that the way it works is it goes in a circular motion starting with W so if you're always already halfway through that circular motion like I am now and I just use it I lose a lot of momentum so if you're like halfway through the circular motion now like I am just reset it, click it twice and then you can do it again if you have any more questions just DM me on Discord and I can help you out Thanks for watching, I hope you learned how to do new shaping from this video.